Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Are you a team player? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Are you a team player or you one of these women talking about how independent you are and stuff and, you know, saying, well, I don't need a man and all of that, but I want a man. Ladies, look, if y'all want a solid man, you got to be a team player. You got to be on his team. He got to feel you on his team. See, understand something. A man is supposed to lead, not dictate, but lead. And when I say lead... He's supposed to see into the future and plan a path. That's his leadership right there. Now, this don't mean you ain't bringing something to the table because there are some parts that you, that's your, that's your thing, right? That's some stuff that you supposed to do. Let me give you an example, right? I remember when I was vending, right? Vending one time at this outdoor festival. And I remember there was an older couple there, right? And the man was definitely the leader, Right. But they were selling different things. He had his things he was selling and she was selling her stuff. And I was just watching how they were setting up and everything. Now, he's a leader, but he wasn't dictating to her. She was doing her own thing with it. But as a leader, he was protecting her as well. Right. So you want that in a man. See, a true leader is going to give you freedom. Let me say that again. A true leader is giving you freedom. But in order to have that, you still got to be on the team and you still got to be on his agenda as well, right? But that's how you got to get there. Now, understand something. You want a good man, right? You want a solid man, right? A real man. Because let's be real, ladies. You don't want a man who can't lead. You don't want one who can't. Uh, if you walking in front of him, you don't like him after a while. He might give you some good D for a while, but after a while, you, you don't like it. You're not comfortable. So you definitely want that solid man, that team captain, that man, when he says hike, you give him the ball. You know, you want that. And in fact, I've talked to many women, even some women who call themselves independent. They say deep down they want that man who they can submit to. All right. Well, if you're going to submit to him, truly submit. And let me be clear on that submission thing. I understand and I support if you don't want to submit to an irresponsible man. You shouldn't. And I've told men this. I've told men this. You got to be the type of man she's willing to submit to. That means you got to place a responsibility, right? But if you want all that, you want that responsible leader and stuff, you got to be a team player. You can't be one of these women. And I've seen plenty, even dated a few. You know, they get in, they dealing with the man. They still want to do their own thing. It's like, well, wait a minute. That's y'all not on a team. That's not a team. A team guy going the same place. Like if you're in a relationship, think about relationship. That relationship is a ship going down the river, right? It's floating on that river. You can't have two captains. You can't have two captains. One of you got to be the captain. Now, like I said, women, I've always, I've seen situations where the woman was a captain. The women didn't like it. The women didn't like it. You know, they got problems. They didn't respect the man. But then even if you in a position where the man's the captain, you can't be trying to say the boat, the ship needs to go someplace else. And like I said, you not, he's not a dictator. Shoot, you still the first officer. And a good captain will always listen to the first officer. Like a really good woman, yeah, the guy's leading, he's doing his thing, but she also, she's always going to be like a really real woman. She's always going to be like, well, hold up, baby, I see this. And a smart man going to listen. Indeed, a smart man will find that woman who's on his team. Let me, let me be very clear. A smart man wants a woman who's on his team, but he don't want a puppet, a smart one. A dictator, insecure man, maybe want a puppy, but a real man, a solid man, a man handling his business, he want that woman who can say, hey, baby, I saw this. He'd be like, all right, baby, go for it. He's going to be very supportive. Like I said, when I saw this couple at this uh, festival, 
you could tell he was in charge, but he was very attentive to whatever she wanted to do. In fact, he was letting, letting her be independent while she was setting up her stuff. He wasn't running or dictating, but you still know who was in charge there. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's our thing, right? But if you want that from a man, you want him to protect, you got to be on the team. Ladies, you can't see some women, some women, they want to get into relationships and everything, but still do their thing. It's like, no, you, like, Lady, why don't you just be honest? You don't want a relationship. You want some steady dick and maybe somebody go with you to the uh, cookout, a family cookout, so your Uncle Junior don't clown you for that. So for being educated and making money but don't have a man yet. Let's just be real with that. All right? But if you want a real relationship, a real functional relationship, you're going beyond just what you can show or, you know, how, how much he can make you holler. You want that man who can handle stuff. When stuff happens, you want that man going to go handle the business. When you in the bedroom, y'all in bed, y'all chilling, and you hear that noise downstairs, well, first of all, that man should be, let me say this again, let me say this again, that man should be sleeping closest to the door. And you shouldn't have to be like, oh, baby, go handle that. You should be still asleep. He was like, he, in fact, he should be getting, he should be getting back in bed, and you're like, baby, what you do? Oh, I heard a noise downstairs, baby, I had to go check on him. That's how it should be. But if you want that in a man, or you want that man who's going to lead, you got to be ready to play on the team. See, unfortunately, you got some women out here, they'll meet that man who is a take charge type, is going to lead, but they'll fight him every step of the way. Or then there's just that attitude of like, well, I'm going to do the thing. He can't tell me anything. And usually women listen to that from women who don't have men anyway. Now, understand if you're independent, you don't have a man, but once you're dealing with that man, it got to be a team. And like I said, the real man, he already knows the team. When you, when you see in sports, you get team captains and stuff. They are very concerned about their team. They are listening to their team. They very concerned. And they, take, they always take what they got to say in consideration. So it's, like I said, I'm going to emphasize that word again. It's not a dictatorship, but it is a team. You know, you in a situation, you're talking about marrying a man and most women, most women, you want to take that man's last name. Okay, so you saying you part of his team, you part of his family. Are you going to behave like it? I'm serious, I'm serious. Are y'all going to behave like it? Because otherwise, it's not a relationship. You might as well just, just yeah, look, you might as well just be, look, I'm going to be raw with it. If y'all ain't going to do that, you ain't going to try to be the team, y'all just be fuck buddies. Y'all just come together, have sex and shit. Don't try to build anything. Because when you're in a relationship, and especially if I know a lot of women looking for marriage and everything, a marriage is deeper than, way deeper than, okay, y'all love each other. It's way deeper than, oh, yeah, your sparks fly sexually. Marriage is partly a business. Marriage is partly a business. It's an institution. Once you have kids, it's a tiny culture. That's how deep it is. That's how deep it is. For that thing to work, y'all got to be on the same team. And ladies, let me just be clear. Let me, I would tell men the same thing. And in fact, I do tell them. I say, look, you got to lead. That's part of your team. That's part of your boundary. Once that woman, uh, and you know, you're supposed to protect that boundary. You're supposed to hunt for that boundary. You know, you're supposed to make sure everything all right. You're supposed to be the king. You know? You want to be a queen, he got to be a king. But a queen, king and queen work together. They don't work against each other. Okay, ladies? So the question you got to ask yourself, are you ready to be on that team? Are you ready to be a team player? And seriously, when you deal with a guy and you're thinking about a relationship, ask yourself, are you prepared to be on that team and work together with the guy? And like I said, if the guy is the type who don't want to work together or something, don't deal with him. Because a true leader knows he has to lead somebody. So he knows if he's going to be a leader, he knows he got the team to worry about. It's his concern. But if he don't want to do that, leave his ass alone. But if you want to be a part of that, you got to be a team player. So, ladies, that's the question. Are you a team player? Anyway, I want you to think on that. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace and blessings.